Lean on your hands with your shoulders and heels lifted about five inches off the floor. Place your arms by your sides with your palms facing down. Stretch your legs out slightly and point your toes forward. Start making circles with your legs to the right side and then repeat the same motion on the left side. Lean on your hands with your shoulders and heels lifted about 5 inches off the floor. Place your arms by your sides with the palms facing down. Raise your legs and point your toes forward. Start making circles with your legs to the right side and then repeat the same motion on the left side. Don't move your body, just your legs. Lie flat on your back. Bend your right leg to form a 60 degree angle with your knee and put your left leg over your right hamstring. Slightly elevate your arms at your sides. Raise your pelvis and rotate your legs toward your torso. Simultaneously push your arms and torso toward your legs. Return to the starting position and repeat. Lie flat on your back with your legs straight and one leg crossing over the other. The arms should be stretched out. Raise your torso until you're sitting up straight. At this point, stretch your arms above your head. Return to the starting position. Lie flat on your back with your legs up in the air, positioned vertically. The arms are stretched out and resting on the floor. Raise your torso and touch your heels with your hands. Return to the starting position and repeat.
Lie down on the exercise mat with your back pressed against the floor. Your arms are crossed and resting on your chest. Elevate your legs and form a 90 degree angle with your knees. Slowly lift your torso, but keep your lower back pressed against the exercise mat. Return to the starting position and repeat. Lie on your back with your hands behind your head. Lift your torso a few inches off the floor. Straighten your legs and hold your feet about five inches off the floor with toes pointed forward. Curl up and raise your torso by bringing your left elbow toward your right knee. At this point, your right knee is forming a 90 degree angle and you've rotated the left shoulder across your body and squeezed your abs. Return to starting position. Repeat the same motion with your right elbow and left knee and again, return to the starting position. Continue the motion by alternating sides. Lie on your side with a focus on the hips. Lower your hand below the level of your shoulder and lean on it. The upper arm should be at ear level. Your legs should be a few inches off the floor, straight and lock at the knees. Raise your legs toward your torso while bending at your waist. Return to the starting position and repeat. Rest on your hip, creating a stable sideline position. Put your hand below the level of your shoulder and lean onto it with your torso. Your other arm should be placed at ear level. Bend your knees and hold your legs a few inches off the floor. While bending in your waist, raise your legs and upper body. Return to the starting position and repeat the same movement. Turn to the other side and repeat the movement. Get in an all fours position with your knees and hands on the floor. Your hands should be shoulder width apart, your back straight, and your knees in stable position. Raise your leg in the opposite arm and put them in a straight line with the body. Stay in that position for a second. Return to the basic position, switch legs and arms, and repeat the exercise. Get in an all fours position with your knees and hands on the floor. Your hands are shoulder width apart, your back straight, and your knees in a stable position. 
This exercise is a combination of the cat and cow position. You are in a cat position when you lower your head, round your shoulders and back. Stay in this position for a second. Then slowly lift your head and tailbone up and press your lower back down. At that point, you will be in a cow position. <laughs> 